Hello everyone, I am Dr. Prachi Banara. I am working as a consultant in Birla Fertility and IVF. With the help of today's video, I would want to highlight certain facts about fertility preservation in cancer patients. So all of us, when we hear about the word cancer amongst our family of friends, the first thing that comes to our mind is life or death. But I want to tell you all that medical science has done so many advances that cancer is now treatable. But it is unfortunate if after treatment of cancer we realize that we are no longer fit to produce a child. So I want you all to understand that fertility preservation is a golden discovery by science through which the cancer patients can preserve their fertility prior undergoing chemo or radiotherapy. So in case of cancer, after the surgery, the doctor generally advises chemotherapy or radiotherapy. Chemotherapy is done by giving some sort of drugs through your veins. Radiotherapy is given by certain radiations. These two modalities of treatment can affect your fertile organs. In men, chemotherapy or radiotherapy can have adverse effects on the sperm production and obviously its quality. In women, it can have adverse effects on the egg reserve and the quality of existing eggs. So fertility preservation is a very simple method by which we can preserve fertility and have our own children after cancer treatment. In men, fertility preservation is very simple. You come to a fertility center, the semen sample you give us is preserved in two to three vials, which can be used later when you, plan, you want to plan a family. In females, egg preservation or embryo preservation can be done to preserve fertility. Egg preservation or embryo preservation is a very simple technique. We give you certain injections which start from day two of your periods. These injections are generally given for 10 days and then egg retrieval procedure is done which is a very small procedure of 15 to 20 minutes. The eggs are retrieved by a small needle inserted in the vagina. It doesn't involve any cut on your tummy. The eggs can be cryopreserved as such in case you are unmarried or you do not have a fixed partner. If you have a fixed partner, the eggs can be combined with sperms of your partner. Embryos are produced and these embryos can be cryopreserved and you can become mother or father when you want to have a family. There are many doubts floating in the society in terms of fertility preservation. Number one, will this delay the cancer therapy? So I want to tell you that this is a very short duration procedure. Generally after surgery and starting of chemo or radiotherapy, there is a time of 10 to 15 days. This period can be utilized to preserve your eggs or to preserve semen sample. The second myth is, does these hormonal injections given to you for fertility preservation, especially in egg preservation, deteriorate the cancer you have? So be rest assured, whenever you come to a fertility center for egg preservation, the doctor will talk to your cancer specialist, will see your reports and advise you a way which is very safe for you even if you have a cancer. In majority of cases, this therapy will not lead to any adverse effect on your cancer. So it's very important to preserve your fertility and accomplish your dream of parenthood. Thank you.